This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Wednesday, October 31st, Halloween, 2018. Uh, the title of this rant is Corporate Renewable Energy Soars in 2018. So despite what the president is doing, the corporate world is buying in big time to renewable energy. They have signed contracts for up to five gigawatts of power in this year alone. All right, and that has been increasing, not by 5%, not by 10%, but by more than that every single year. Now I wanna point out very quickly, so you have companies like AT&T, uh, Facebook, Apple, Google, Microsoft, etc. They're buying huge amounts for their data centers all over the place. And other companies are doing that also. Uh, but you also have a whole heck of a lot of companies that aren't even in this five gigawatts, such as Ikea, such as Target, such as Walmart, who are putting rooftop solar on all of their buildings, on all of their administrative buildings, their suppliers' buildings, or working with their suppliers for all of that. So this is a huge, huge, and it will not go down because the price of, of, of renewables is more than competitive now. It's more competitive than it's ever been before, and it will only get worse. Now that's on the corporate side who are buying it. Now, of course, we have developers out there who are developing this renewable energy all across the country. And as an example, there is a 3,500 acre um, space in Virginia, uh, which only has one additional, um, let's just say one more step, one more approval before they're granted the rights to put in solar in Virginia. Now the thing is, most of our solar, the high majority of it has been in California, Nevada, and I believe Arizona, and this will be the largest solar farm east of the Rockies, and the fourth largest you know, that the United States has ever produced. So because of the economies of scale, we're gonna be seeing this solar and, and wind all over the country. It's gonna go. Now, why is a lot of this important right now? As I mentioned, that most of the solar, California, New Mexico, Nevada, excuse me, California, Nevada, uh, Arizona, we'll be able to put it all over the country uh, and that is just going to be a complete game changer. Now, we're also coming up with new technologies. There's a new one uh, that's called floating solar arrays, where they're actually be able to put on lakes and on ponds. That's new to the United States. It's going to keep growing. There was a recent decision or approval by the Department of the Interior to lease land to um, let's, wind developers off northern and central California coastlines. These will be floating wind turbines, which is also a big game changer. It also says that the Interior Department wants to be a part of all this. They want the money, all right? And, and yes, this will take years because it's just been approved of, but this is where we are heading. And one other thing, Indiana uh, is actually looking at getting rid of all of their coal powered plants and run off 100% renewables within the next 10 years. That's right, Mike Pence's state, you know, conservative Indiana. Now, and of course, that's the pol there's politics in all of this. So we have to look at this in terms of part of this upcoming election, uh, is that we had initiatives voted by legislatures in Maine, in New Hampshire, what were the other two, uh, in New Mexico, uh, and Nevada for additional renewables that was vetoed by the governor. And we need to get rid, and they were all Republican, we need to get rid of them. We also know that uh, the governor in 38 states can appoint the state utility commissioner. So if it's a Republican, they'll bring in oil and gas, let's just say lobbyists, to run the state utility commission, and we need to get rid of all of them. So again, what we need to do is we need to vote straight down the ticket, Democrat, all the way down in this upcoming election. And I need to emphasize that everything we are doing today is basically going to be making this planet livable to our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. We cannot slow down this progress.